What is up you guys? If you have not seen any of my other videos, my name is Cal. I'm going to be talking about rods and reels today. I'm going to go through what will be the best for your money and then I'll also go through just what are the best rods and reels in general. So I'm going to go through what I have, my rod and reel arsenal on the boat. I'm going to go through um, just what I have and what I prefer because it's all preference y'all. Um, I'm going to go through what I like the best and yeah. I swear I trip over that every time. Every time right there. It's like it just falls off the boat onto the ground. <laughs> Go ahead, get all the rods out. Well, it took me like 10 minutes to find good lighting. Start on my first rod. This is a rod that was given to me after um, a family member passed away. Not my family, someone else's. It was my dad's accountant's friend. So his wife, his wife was asking uh, my dad's accountant on who would like this fishing rod. And so my dad was like, sure, yeah, my son loves fishing. So um, this is the big flip it stick it is by cashin it is a cashin rod it's a 7-eleven moderate fast action so you could also probably use that for swim baits um, another thing that it'd be good for is um, just straight punching that's what I use it for but swim baits it can also be that will not focus there it is okay so yeah, that it's a it's a cash and rod. It's a nice rod. This rod probably runs for like I think 220, but I got it for free and this is probably one of my most I think it is my most expensive rod that I have in my arsenal. Um, I love this grip right here so I don't have my wind grips on there, but on nearly every other rod I have, I do have wind grips because I'm a huge fan and uh, they're just awesome. So, and this is this is just the rod grip that it comes with and it's just a nice like kind of a nylon kind of deal. It's a like a webbing on there. So it's really cool and I love that. <clears throat> I just love that texture on there. It just feels really great on my hands. It also, it's on the butt of the rod too. On the rod, I have a Sitica, uh, Shimano Sitica. It is, a seven two to one gear ratio. It's a nice, nice reel. I really recommend this reel. Um, I'll talk about this reel a little bit later. Uh, we'll go ahead and get to the next rod. And I also have 65 uh, pound braid on this for flipping, just for y'all wanting to know. Next up, we got the Speed Spool. This is the Super Duty. Um, this is a reel that was also given to me by uh, the guy that uh, passed away with that cash and rod. So I also got this reel for free. This reel runs for I think 179. On this reel we have the TFO 7.3 medium heavy. And I'm a really big fan of this rod. This is uh, the rod that I used uh, to catch 20, I think it was 20, 26 pounds in the grapevine video with Austin Anderson uh, to throw a trap on. I just really love this rod for um, traps, big square bills, stuff like that. Not light square bills. I mean, I will throw a light square bill on it every once in a while, but it's it's a pretty beefy rod for um, a small square bill to be thrown on. So I usually stick with this rod on anything with a trap or a big square bill. And then uh, the gear ratio I have on this reel is a, it's a 6 4 to 1. So um, it's kind of slow gear ratio on the real but that's the way I like it for those traps next up we have the big beefy rod this is my swim bait and uh, flutter spoon kind of deal um, I'll throw big big baits on this that I can't throw on any other rod this rod right here I am a big fan of I just put this rod together very recently it's a 7-eleven uh, of course graphite heavy power um, moderate fast action There can't be more noise right now. There can't. This rod right here, Mojo Bass, it's gonna be 
um, it has a little tip in it and that's the thing I like about it is um, whatever I'm gonna throw it's gonna have a little tip so um, I can kind of just lean into the fish on whatever the big bait is so uh, it's a 7-eleven heavy power moderate fast action and it is a big rod that I can throw anything that's super heavy up to like legit this this flutter spoon is like 10 inches long like that's a that's a big spoon that's a really big spoon I just really recommend y'all to get a combo when uh, when you have other combos to throw everything else on a combo to have a big bait on is always great because in a tournament or anything when you need one big fish or a couple big fish it's it's always a good good idea to have a big bait on and rigged up and ready to go. The next rod we got is my Carolina rig and big Texas rig rod. It is an E6X. Oh my gosh, this rod I fell in love with, absolutely fell in love with. Gene Loomis E6X, this is a really highly recommended rod. I'm gonna talk about it in a couple minutes after I'm done explaining all my rods. This is going to be a 7.5. Uh, 7.6 will work just as well, a heavy fast action. Um, it's gonna be able to throw some big weights. Um, up to three fourth ounce, but I can also probably throw an ounce with this on a Carolina rig. So uh, I really like this rod wrapped up with wind grips. Highly recommend wind grips. They're just so nice to have on your rod. That texture on there is just, it's just the greatest feeling. Another rod wrapped up with wind grips, blue and all many different colors. We got green on here. We got blue, we got black, we got a purple mojo bass rod. Uh, funky looking rod, but I really like it. Uh, this is the new Lose Team Laser. I'm not quite sure how I like it yet because I haven't, uh, this is pretty new. I got this about a month ago, so I'm still trying this out, so I'm not gonna rate this in my top reels yet. It's, it's great so far though, I'm really liking it. It runs like 120 right now at Bass Pro. This rod right here is great for throwing jigs on and light Texas rigs. It's a 7.1 medium heavy. It's just an all around versatile rod. It's a great rod to fish docks with and all the above. Next up, we got the old, old Kistler. This is my old Kistler rod I've got from a buddy. Um, I got this rod for $30, so it was a really good deal, and uh, I just went ahead and took it. It's a wacky, it's called the Wacky Worm Special, but I throw anything light on it. I throw a fluke, and then I'll put a, um, Anything like a Senko or a shaky head on it too. It works nice. Next on what we got is my deep crank rod. It is a Mojo Bass glass rod. I really like the glass on it. it. It's just really flimsy. It has so much load in it to where I mean sometimes you can barely even feel a bite, but you'll you'll really you'll really get a hook in them because there's just so much there's so much load on the so much load on the rod. What I got on here is my Abu Garcia. This is gonna be a five four to one so it's a really low gear ratio for this deep crank this is an 8xd i got rigged up there this is a seven eight yeah seven eight modern power it'll be able to throw some really big baits uh probably up to you know one it says one ounce on the rod but i've thrown 10 xds and above on there next is my spinning rod i only have one spinning rod on the boat uh, i throw a drop shot on it and that's pretty much all i throw on it i will throw a weightless Senko when i'm feeling like it but like i just explained i do have my Senko rod over here that i'll throw a Senko on so rigged up with wind grips this is a, a shimano symmetry it's a great reel that has lasted me a while and this is the abu garcia veritas and it's a 6.9 medium light uh, it has a good bit of tip on there, so I can really get a hook into the fish. Second to last, we have my light. This is gonna be my light square bill rod. Uh, anything that's small, moving bait, I'll be able to put on this rod. Um, this rod is a Powell Diesel. Powell Diesel. This is a rod that I got for pretty cheap um, off a buddy of mine, and he also gave me this reel along with it. This is the old, old, old lose. Like, I mean, uh, they don't sell this anymore. This is the, this is just the original loose speed spool that they don't even sell anymore. Um, they got some better, bigger stuff coming out, but I just got this combo for like, I think 70 bucks, and the rod's 90, and the reel, the reel is regularly like 100 bucks, or it was 100 bucks when they did sell the reel. So last rod before we head inside, this is the Shimano Claris. 
Um, it's a 7.2 medium heavy. I use this rod for frogging. I got this rod on a pretty good deal. What I have rigged up on it is a high gear, gear ratioed uh, 8 3 to 1 tournament MB. This reel, I think it's 130. It runs for $139.99. It's $40 more than the just regular speed spool by Luz. Um, I do recommend this rod, uh, reel. Gosh, I do recommend this reel. It, it is a bit better than the LFS. Uh, it's a lot lighter, better for mobility, and it's just all around. It's just a great feeling reel, and it will last longer than the just regular speed spool I've learned from uh, multiple, to multiple times. This, this reel right here has lasted longer. So if you don't have a warranty, I definitely recommend this reel over the regular speed spool. So this is my frog rod. I got 65 pound braid up on this. And yes, we got that wind grips all wrapped up on this rod too. Highly recommended. Uh, it's a great feel on your hands when you're pulling the fish out of the water and just a great feel on your hands throughout the day. Like it's just a good spongy feeling opposed to some cork, um, that kind of dry texture of cork on your hands, which I really don't like and I've never been a fan of uh, feeling cork on my hands uh, throughout the day. So I really recommend wind grips and I do recommend that you have the rod glove on all of your rods. Uh, it's just such a helpful, such a helpful tool on all of your rods so the lines don't get all mixed. So we got all the rods laid out on the deck. One last look at them. That chair right there, I'm looking at putting on my boat because those, as y'all have seen in my past videos, oh my gosh, my chairs are like filled with duct tape. Hey, Jen. Before we get into the rods and reels, I'm gonna grab me some breakfast. I haven't even eaten yet. It's like, what, 11, 20? Yeah. It's So like I was saying out there, we have that guy over there, right over there where Ginger was. He's doing our windows right now and Ginger was just flipping, absolutely flipping out as y'all just saw. That was so funny. You stress eating now or are you, how do you, how do you feel about the guy being here, huh? <laughs> She's like, don't bother me. I did put a list together for y'all. I did put a list together for y'all on um, the prices of these reels that I have and um, set out for y'all, what I have set out for y'all, and the brands of the reels. So I'm gonna go through a list of um, mostly reels, but I have a couple rods in there too that uh, will be best for your money. So I'm gonna go through it. All right, you guys, we got that list of reels and rods. So we are going to go through first, what is best for your money? 
First, what we got is the Luz Speed Spool LFS for $100, and then we also have the Shimano Casitas, which uh, just came out, I think, last year or the year before. You might have to correct me on that, but that is also $100. So uh, $99.99, you can get your Casitas or your Luz Speed Spool LFS. Uh, it just depends if you're more of a Luz fan or if you're a more Shimano fan. Honestly, I think Shimano is gonna be a bit better, bit better quality than Luz. Uh, Luz does last a while and so does Shimano, but Shimano, I think, dominates at the end. I really recommend that Shimano Casitas for that price range of $100. Next on the list, we have uh, the Shimano Sitica and the Shimano Corrado. The Corrado is going to be able to run in salt water uh, opposed to the Sitica. That's uh, a lot of controversy there. Uh, they're like, why, why should I buy a Shimano uh, Corrado when I could just buy a Sitica? But a Sitica uh, is basically just, it's, it's just for fresh water and the, the Shimano Corrado you can take into salt water and fresh. Uh, that's pretty much it. There's a couple different things in the bearings, but uh, at the end of the day, you're spending um, you're spending fifty dollars more, two hundred dollars on a Shimano Corrado um, instead of spending one hundred and fifty dollars on just uh, freshwater Sitica. Actually, right now I just checked on Tackle Warehouse. I legit just checked, and the Shimano Corrado is the exact same price as the Sitica right now. So I really recommend y'all going and uh, it's it's on sale because they just came out with the new Corrado which is 200 bucks right now. So I really recommend y'all going on Dackle Warehouse and really taking a look at the old Corrado which is gonna be 150 right now opposed to you know $200. So y'all really need to go check that out if you got 150 bucks to spend. So Next, we got that new Corrado, which is looking so clean, but I have not, not tried it yet. Um, it's looking so nice. It's 200 bucks for just the reel, but uh, it's a bit pricey. I mean, that I don't, I don't even think I have a $200 reel. I don't even have a $200 reel. I have like once $170 reel, but like, y'all, that's it, it's really good quality though. Um, if you got 200 bucks to spend, and uh, last but definitely not least is the Blues Tournament MB. I have the MB on like three of my rods out there as y'all saw um, me reviewing uh, all those rods and reels out there on the boat. That Blues Tournament MB runs for uh, $139.99. So I usually, I mean, I have those like three or four MBs out there because of how good the price is and uh, for how good that quality is. So I do like, I do like loose also with Shimano. I just think Shimano's a little bit pricey, but Shimano does have the best quality. I mean, y'all could comment and flame me up in the comments below. Just go ahead and just just go down there and do it. But I I tell you right now, uh, if you if you go ahead and you you experience the two different sides of the reels, you go ahead and you look at um, the brakes, how easy it is to just get to the brakes on the uh, Sitica and the Corrado, and also on top of that, the new the newer Casitas, which is a hundred bucks, and I highly recommend that reel. It's just it's just a lot easier to get to the brakes. Uh, it's smoother. It does make a couple sounds um, as it gets into its you know like six months after you're done with it for six months, it's gonna get into that. Um, that stage where it kind of makes a little a little sound when you reel. It's going to perform better than the lose uh, in my preference. Y'all will uh, have different preferences than I do. Uh, I do have a lot of lose, so I mean, I have more lose than I have Shimano. I think I have one Shimano out there, but I really recommend more Shimano over lose. So uh, thanks y'all for listening to those reels. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get over uh, a couple of those rods. The rod that's best for your money this is a hard one, y'all. I mean, it depends how much you want to spend. If you want to spend $100, um, I'm thinking I'd probably take the Veritas or a Ducket. Um, but I usually don't I usually do not do a $100 rod anymore. Um, I only have that one Veritas out there. It's already soggy. Crap. Most of my rods are Mojo Bass. I really like Mojo Bass. Uh, I, I just always have. They run to that 130 to 150 price range, and I mean, just this—it's just a great, 
a versatile rod that you can do a lot of things with. I mean, I just really love them. What's at the top of my list is the G Loomis E6X. Uh, I think it was in 2014 or 2015, might be 2015. The E6X won uh, best rod overall for for iCast. So that that rod, I mean, it, other people agree with me about how good that rod is for the price, and uh, I really feel like that is the rod. That is the rod to go with if you have to pick one rod to survive off of like that. That's the rod to go with. I mean, the sensitivity on the rod is just great. The power on that rod's great. That E6X is. Uh, 180 bucks so that's something you have to think about also so if y'all ain't got that much to spend um, there's always Bass Pro combos at Bass Pro you can get a rod and a reel for 60 bucks uh, easy that's what I did when I was younger uh, before I really got into fishing I went and I bought my first bait cast for about 50 bucks it was called like a mega cast <laughs> I don't even know if y'all remember that but it's called a mega cast it's like an orange and silver bait caster the rod was like six foot long i mean y'all if y'all if y'all got some money to spend please invest your time in g loomis and if you don't have money to spend um just look for that combo or look at albigasia veritas or a ducket a ducket super versatile also and a lot of people love ducket that has been it for today thank you so much for watching if you like what you saw give me a thumbs up below and please subscribe if you haven't already we got some really cool stuff coming up uh, we're going to be heading into Dallas tomorrow to be messing with some people, and it's going to be really funny. We're going to be doing something fishing related in the middle of the city of Dallas. So you're going to really want to subscribe be ready for that video to come out. So um, with that video will come out in a couple days probably, two or three days. And so thanks y'all so much for watching. If you want to see some of my recent videos, please wait, and we will have a couple pop up on the outro, and we will have that circle right here to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, you guys, so much for watching, and we will catch y'all on the next video.